Hey, what's up you guys? This is Steffi aka in my humble opinion and welcome back to another Fan Reaction Friday video. Today, we have finally come to... It's not technically the end, but it's like I'm gonna be caught up like in 45 minutes. So oh, we're watching season three, episode eight of Killing Eve. This is the final episode of season three. The episode is entitled, Are You Leading or Am I? Before we begin, I just want to show some links here on the screen if you guys are interested in helping out the Black community and showing your support for the Black Lives Matter movement, definitely consider checking out these links here. All right, also before we get into the episode, I just wanted to say today's video is not going to be the last video that we're talking about Killing Eve. I am planning on doing a special Q&A video specifically about Killing Eve, so if you guys watched my Fleabag videos, once I finished season one and two of that show, I did a special Fleabag Q&A and basically people got to ask me specific questions regarding Fleabag. Like, what are your thoughts on such and such character? What did you think about this storyline? So I'm gonna be doing that with Killing Eve because I feel like over the past couple of weeks, we've built up a really great community here and I really wanna get the chance to like actually interact with you guys in some way because I've been so scared of like spoilers and whatnot. Like I kind of skim through the comments but I'm not really reading the comments. So if you guys are interested in participating in next week's Q&A, just use the hashtag AskIMHO underscore KE and leave your questions either in the comments section of this video or you can tweet me or DM me or you can even email me. My email is contact.imhshow at gmail.com. You could just like write a little email and then I'll answer all of your guys' questions in next week's video. So that video is gonna be out on Friday. So you have until today when this video comes out. I'm planning on recording that video probably on a Monday. So also it'd be really cool if some of you can send in a voicemail memo message of yourself and just like email me your question that way. And for anyone who's participating in the Q&A, leave your name and also let me know where you're from because I feel like Killing Eves has such a global fan base so it'd be really cool to hear where everyone is from like watching the show so yeah Royal Albert Hall London oh didn't Adele perform there I think a lot of people have performed there but I'm pretty sure she has like a special DVD concert or something there what do you want I want to accept your job offer Things not working out with Elaine. Who Oh wow, okay. You're bringing this back now, okay. I got promoted. Goodness. I know. <laughs> I'm looking for a new challenge. You want to kill for us now? No. I'm confused. She doesn't want to kill anymore! You You're turning me down? I don't know what it is you're offering. You're trying to do one thing and one thing only. Oh no! What you see to me? To anyone. Yikes. I can change. If Villanelle has retired, what's left? Oksana, I can't see that working for MI6, can you? Oh my gosh, that's kind of sad. What happens when, oh, you don't want to be the person that you were anymore, but you were really good at that thing, and then people, or maybe, I don't know, maybe it's true, maybe it's not, but for the most part, you're being led to believe this is the only thing you're good for. And if you can't do that one thing, there's no use for you anymore. Like, that's sad. Oh, girl. Is this really necessary? You had a massive heart attack. I know. I was there for it. So many people have ended up in the hospital this year. Constantine, Dasha, Nico. Who expected her to play by your rules? I had to. You gave her none. I was old school. Old fashioned. Brutal. The vest has turned you soft. I love how Villanelle's two mentors are kind of having this like confrontation about the way that they quote unquote not like raise but they they mentored her like deferring techniques. <laughs> please don't go. Please. Even though Dosh is in a hospital bed, I literally cannot take her seriously. Constantine, keep your distance, girl. Girl, no. Social distance. Don't give her your hand. She's gonna. I wish my son was here. Need to I feel like we're gonna nice. see the sun next season. Oh, is Dasha really dying? I'll I'll believe it when I see it. 
where is she? Is she like dancing with the stars, dine and dinner sort of thing? What's happening? Hi. Hi. Oh my god. Brace ourselves. <laughs> Oh my god, I like that they're actually having a conversation! <laughs> I feel like- wait, I'm trying to think. That's like the most they've spoken to each other this season. <laughs> oh man. We're here. I did my first ever kill in this country here. Sentimental value. Imagine if I'd refused. What do you think I would have become? Interior designer, maybe. If you had, it would have saved me a lot of heartache. He <laughs> would probably like be living a normal life Dasha with Nico. Nico's in hospital. Dasha stabbed him through the neck and blamed it on you. Are you listening to me? She it's don't care, girl. What happened? <laughs> what happened to you, bitch? <laughs> Time for the next dance, ladies. Encourage all to the dance floor. Let them over and do whatever. <laughs> it's always Sandra O's like react like silent reactions that get me. Come on. Oh look at Eve. Dancing's not my thing. Mine either, but it's good to try new things. That's so interesting that I feel like Eve tends to take the lead. She's the one that initiated the kiss, even though I did read some of your guys' comments under that video, and there's a fair amount of you that say that was strategic on Eve's part, but we could leave that in the comments section up for debate. But it's interesting here in this moment, she's like initiating the dance. Oh, oh god. Are you gonna go and lie? Oh my god, she's so- they're kind of awkward, but it's okay. It's very endearing. Do you want to be like that? Not anymore. Why not? We never make it that long. <sighs> Whoa! She said we! She said we! She said we! I killed so many people, Eve. I know. Oh my god, that was sad! Oh! Damn. For a moment, they had something. That was sad. Talk me through your outfit. <laughs> that is so shady. I was trying to look devastating. Obviously. Isn't that funny? Two ruthless killers and somebody says jump. Just. Just. Ooh, she's playing mind games with her. <laughs> Come quietly, little sheep. I promise you'll be happier that way. I'm waiting for like Villanelle to push her into the subway. Oh god, oh god. Oh my god, is she gonna kill her? Oh, is she gonna do it? Is she gonna do it? There was a moment where I was like, hmm, maybe she will develop some sort of moral code. Should have known better. For my active faults, judging you, lying to you. Is this an you. apology letter from Should Geraldine? I bring this acknowledgement to you and ask for your forgiveness and acceptance. Your loving daughter, Geraldine. <gasps> no. Dear Geraldine, I think it's time you left. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's the bare minimum you effort. Shit. You haven't found out who killed Kenny yet because the likelihood is he just killed himself because he was so deeply bloody unhappy. 
Uh oh. I know you think I'm heartless, but I do care my own way, and I'm telling you, you are no longer welcome here. <laughs> Geraldine, Geraldine. Villanelle gave Eve the code for to get the money. Wow, Villanelle must really trust Eve. Oh my god, that man looked like Nico. I was like, what the fuck? 38 to 50 on Bruce? Attacking the piece. I, I, I don't know. I, I am I? Hey, <laughs> come here, do you know? What is this, Bruce? Horse? A dog? A boxer? Who's <gasps> Bruce? Someone at the senior. A woman called... Tallulah. <laughs> Shark. <laughs> you telling me that a lady like you is mixed up with a man like him? I'm not a very nice lady. <laughs> She got it. His face was like, "Listen up, right, buddy." Then. We thought it better to show you this face to face. Show oh yikes! Want. I'm scared. I realized someone was dipping their finger into my time fast at Honey Pop, so I set up a secret camera. But uh, today I find this. I'm scared. Funny. Oh my god! I cannot relive this. I can't relive this. I. This is traumatic. This is from the day Kenny died. <gasps> oh, mother of God. Give it to me. No. Oh. It's mine. No, 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 no. <laughs> you don't think I'm just going to hand it over to you. It's a gift for my daughter. You have literally. Stay there. Ooh, look at Eve in control. You see that motion? She said, stay there. It opens another safety box with money, passport, emergency toiletries. Oh my god, is he faking? Is he faking? Wow, this episode like has me on edge. I'm like worried for everyone's like health and well-being right now. Okay, so it looks like Villanelle is making her way to the bitter pill offices. That's just a nice little... Coat. Villanelle should apply for a job at Bitter Pill. That one? I swear. <laughs> this poor girl. She's like, um, let me get the fuck away from you. Could you please tell your friend to give me what's mine? You're with Eve? Eve, I'm at your work! Everyone here is really strange. I love when the worlds converge. It just makes me so happy. Meet us now. She said for me to hang on to it, didn't she? See, even Villanelle, the trust that they have with one another is like no one can even understand. We can't even understand. That's the tea. This has been great, guys. <laughs> oh, that's it. That's all she gets to do at Bitter Pill. Yes, I know. Oh, what do you want? I want you at my house in half an hour. Everybody, let's take him out. Oh. <laughs> I guess I someone has beat us to the punch. Ah, now he's here with his job for me. Carolyn? Eve, what are you doing here? I'm helping. Carolyn! Help. Yeah! I'm surprised she's not with Oh, look at this. They're all gonna come together right now. Sit down. I'm next to him. <gasps> oh, bitch. She said no next to him. Carolyn, things will go a lot easier for you if we just end this now. Sit down, Paul. Ooh, I love feisty Carolyn. Yeah, oh, bitch. I have no idea. <laughs> if you two don't be here, the least you can do is just sit down and be quiet. <laughs> She's like wrangling children right now. Don't listen to him. Who is the twelfth? Ooh. He's the 12? Him singularly? No, no, Helene. She's my boss. Ex boss. It was a very toxic workplace. <laughs> Did you order Dasha Disran to kill my husband? I don't know any of the people we're talking about. Dasha. Is this? This? Oh my god. Wow. They're like all it having revelations right now. I saw the footage. What footage? On the day Kenny died, you were there. You were there? I can't explain. 
You better get to explaining quickly. Oh, yes, bitch. Tell her. Does Villanelle know something? Kenny was getting too close to the twelve. Kept stepping back. I tried to stop him, but he fell before I could do anything. Um, I don't know if I buy that. I wouldn't do that to someone I want. Don't say loved. This is good. You got to tell me on your knees. Oh my god, you guys, this is really fucking riveting. We're going to hold our handy dandy posters that we made at the beginning of the season. Kenny deserved better. I love you. You never love me, not even close. Get down on your knees, Carolyn. Why just me? Why not him as well? Because I don't care about him. He doesn't mean anything to me. But I did care about you. Whoa! Oh shit! Oh my god! Whoa! Oh my god! This was inevitable. Oh god! No, she's gonna fucking change the the direction of the gun, or maybe Villanelle's gonna run and save him. Oh, what a precarious situation! <laughs> oh god! See? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Should have been here. Go before I change my mind. Wow. Wow. Wow, that was intense. Are you coming? Oh. Why not? You're not the <gasps> Woo! That's called a full circle moment, bitch. Why kill him? He had everything we wanted to know about the Twelve. What I feel like Villanelle knows something, though. Come to realize is that one cannot destroy the Twelve. You should listen to her, Eve. I know it. She knows it. Maybe it's time you went... Turkey. Give it up, there is no end. Wow, this kind of feels like a series finale. Don't you want to just trot along after? <laughs> the use of the word trot in that statement. Okay, Fiona Shaw should be nominated for an Emmy. Submit that episode, that particular scene, because wow, that was, ooh, that was so good. Oh my god, I only have three more minutes and then I'm all caught up. Ooh, a bridge! I killed Dasha. They're both fucking stupid. Well, let's just let them believe that. You were never like them. You only thought you were. No. I had a life. I had a husband and a house. A chicken is the one that's stuff. Ooh, honest hour, honest hour. When I try and think of my future, I just see your face over and over again. It's so very beautiful. Oh my god, wow. The shippers must have died at that statement. This isn't gonna end well. This isn't gonna end well. This is a Killing Eve finale. They're not gonna run away together, the fuck? Do you think I'm a monster? There's so many things. Doesn't that answer my question? I think we all have monsters inside of us. It's just that most people manage to keep things hidden. Mm. I think my monster in college is your monster. Right? I think I wanted it too. Mm. This is so nice. They're actually having a conversation. Help me. She doesn't know how. So if that's really what you want, it's not difficult. They can't see each other. Now turn around and face the other way. What? I'll turn this way. They're gonna walk away. They're gonna walk away! That's the only way. Oh. Now we walk. And we never look back. But I, I don't turn. Just walk. Wow! Woo! Oh my god, this is sad. Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? Oh! I feel like I'm in a K-drama right now or some shit. What the? Oh my god, they both looked back. This is so intense. Whoa! 
Oh my god, I can't believe. Oh, the ending has me like low key in my feels, and now I'm done. What am I gonna do with my life? I'm in shock. I can't, I can't believe I'm done with Killing Eve until like next season, but oh. Oh my god, and some post show thoughts. Oh. I was honestly like, I was trying not to like boohoo sob because I have done that before many a times on this channel, but I really started to get like emotional towards the end, obviously because of like Eve and Villanelle, but also I just, I can't believe I'm done with Killing Eve until next season, but at the rate this coronavirus is going, like we don't even know if they're gonna be able to come out next year with a new season or series, technically series. What does one do when Killing Eve is like g done? What? I don't know what to do. Oh my God, I'm like freaking out right now. Okay, <sighs> okay, thoughts on the episode. I feel like MVP of the finale was honestly Carolyn. Carolyn Fiona Shaw. <sighs> wow, first of all, she kicked Geraldine to the curb and was like, bye bye Mother, daughter, they had moments throughout the series where Carolyn was trying to connect with her daughter and Geraldine was most definitely trying to connect with her mother, but Geraldine overstayed her welcome and Carolyn was like up to here. Geraldine's presence in Carolyn's life was just exacerbating Carolyn's stress even more. Regarding Kenny though, I still have my questions about it. I want to believe Constantine, but just like that idea that Kenny kept like stepping back and he fell on his own accord. I really don't believe that. What do you guys think? <laughs> that entire scene when Carolyn was holding the gun, I just have to give a special like shout out to Fiona Shaw. She was so in control in that scene and it was just like so tense. And for me, I love those moments in TV shows where like all the main players, especially when like they're normally not together are in the same room at the same time and like things are tense and there's like this major confrontation and that's exactly what that scene was. I did have a feeling though that Carolyn was gonna last minute switch it to Paul, I believe is his name. My question now too is like, okay, it's called the 12, but like they kept saying, Paul is the 12, but he's not singularly the 12. I'm assuming he's one of 12. So I don't know. This episode has me asking more questions, <laughs> but also in that scene too, I thought it was a really interesting moment when Constantine was like, fella no, do something. And the fact that she didn't do something, I'm wondering if when Villanelle and Constantine's paths cross again, that that is going to not serve her well in the future. God, like where are they all gonna end up next season? Like, that's the thing. One of like the major ideas that was presented and I'm wondering if they're gonna keep exploring that next season is this idea that there's no such thing as defeating the 12. I feel like the 12 in a way could kind of be compared to that monster in Greek mythology like the Hydra where you cut off one head and two heads grow back in its place like that's how I feel like the 12 operates. If a member or like someone involved in the 12 like dies they just replace them with a new one and then they keep it moving. So like in that sense, it's impossible to defeat the 12. And that's why it's hard to quote unquote, get out of the game. And it's interesting that Carolyn came to that realization and she's like coming from the perspective of someone on MI6's side. And then you have Villanelle coming to that realization and she's their hired assassin. And both of them are telling Eve like, yeah girl, get the fuck out. This is not gonna end well for anybody. And that's another thing too, that they kind of kept emphasizing throughout this season in particular, is just like how many people keep dying. It's like, there's never gonna be enough bodies accounted for. So with that being said, I'm wondering if season four is gonna be the last one. I don't know, like in a weird way, this kind of like, I'm glad we're still getting one more season at least as far as we know, but like this in a weird way, it felt like it could have been a series finale. Gosh, I'm getting so nervous now. What if season four is their last season? <laughs> I don't want it to be selfishly because I've grown really attached to all of the characters and I think the acting is like superb and I genuinely like, this is one of my favorite shows now. So I'm getting a little nervous. Like what if season four is the last, but anywho, oh, I feel like this episode for me was such a breakthrough in even Villanelle's relationship. Just on the simple idea 
that they were actually having real conversation. And I know they've talked to each other before, but they were actually talking about real shit that was affecting both of them. So I feel like this episode was such like a breakthrough in that sense. And I've had this like thought for a while, like why Villanelle is so attracted. I'm not even talking about like in a sexual sense, but just like on a human connection with Eve. I think Villanelle likes that Eve sees her as more than just a quote unquote beautiful monster that Helena was referring to Villanelle as. Like everyone, like Carolyn was like, well, who are you now, Villanelle? You can't kill. There's no use for you here. So I think that's why Villanelle really likes Eve is because Eve sees her as more than just that. Eve had that line in there too when she said that. You are many things. So yeah, it's the fact that Eve can see Villanelle for the totality of who she is and she just doesn't whittle her down into like one thing. And for the most part, even with Eve knowing how many people Villanelle has killed, she doesn't run away from that. Like she still, I mean, like if anything, she like runs towards that. So it makes sense why she would be attracted to someone who is actually willing to acknowledge everything she is and not be scared by that and stay or if anything run towards that so i think that's why villanelle's like oh, eve yeah i'm gonna leave it at that i'm gonna leave it at that for now it's just the question for you guys is i want to know were you satisfied with this finale for me i feel like i need to rewatch season three and like as a whole and not like stop go stop go like i have been because of doing these videos but i feel like just like on a quick reflection looking back i was satisfied with the season three finale even though i still have questions i was satisfied so let me know were you satisfied by the season three finale all right, and that's about it for this video. If you liked it, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and please turn on the notification button down below so you know when a new video from me comes out and comment down below your thoughts on this particular episode. Also, I'm gonna be showing links here if you're interested in showing your support for the black community and helping in any way that you can the Black Lives Matter movement. You can check out these links here. Also gonna be plugging my podcast that I host. It's called Diva Dailies. It's a podcast where we deconstruct divas on film and TV check it out if you haven't already. I'm not done with talking about Killing Eve. I'm gonna be posting the Q&A video on Friday. You guys can ask me my thoughts about anything regarding Killing Eve, like a particular plot point, my thoughts on a particular character, my thoughts on a particular, I don't know, relationship. What's your favorite Villanelle outfit? Like it could literally be anything regarding Killing Eve and I will answer it. So you just have to use the hashtag Ask IMHO underscore KE. And this is really cool. So I have an idea where if you want to send a voice memo or message of yourself, so just like take your phone, record you asking the question, I will play it in the video and then I'll answer it there. I think that would be really cool. Then I get to hear your guys' voice and you could even tell me like where you're from. I can't wait to make that Q&A video because I really want to talk to more people about Killing Eve and this is going to be a great opportunity for us to like interact. So yeah, send in your questions. All right, as always, everything I said, just my own personal thoughts and all my humble opinion and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.